All right, I know the title says one thing, but I'm gonna start off with this extra thing. I don't think Xbox is buying Sega, as of now. I don't think they're buying Sega. Maybe they started a close partnership, but acquisition, no. That being said, there are a lot of people with a lot of theories that Xbox is buying Sega. Now, I only have about an hour and a half until I go into work, so I'm not really going to go into detail. I mean, I can, but it's going to take me a long time plus to edit it. So I'll, maybe I'll speak about this tomorrow morning after I get off. But speculators have seen a lot of images, and they are pulling some crazy-ass fucking theories. Exhibit A, the lady who has her like that in front of a box. I would have probably thought if, if I was a conspiracy nut like how I used to be, I probably would have thought that. Exhibit B, the controller, the blue controller that's coming out. I mean, I'll give it to them. Yeah, it does look like Sonic's color scheme, although it's missing red for the shoes, but I'll, I'll give it to them. Exhibit C, the Sonic plushie with the two green drinks, one having a red, uh, a white straw, one having a black one. Now that one is, <laughs> that was a little too far out there. It makes sense, but it's really too far out there. And the last one, which I actually saw this video. So it, 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 I did kind of question, why the fuck is the uh, representative, an exec, a producer, or I don't know exactly what he is from, from Microsoft or Xbox, but in an update or uh, showcase one of them was wearing a sonic t-shirt now i remember seeing the video and i actually thought why the fuck is he wearing a sonic shirt like i didn't remember anything being announced from sega on that video at the time i, I thought that but I, now i don't remember what the fuck i saw in that showcase or in that video but i do remember the guy wearing the sonic shirt yeah that that one actually stuck with me and now that it was brought up, I was like, okay, that one might make a little more sense than the rest. Now, there are people that believe all of this shit is actually going to happen. The main reason is because during the June, the July showcase or the May showcase, Phil Spencer had a fucking Xbox Series S behind him the whole fucking time and nobody noticed it. Probably because nobody was even close the concepts were nowhere near like the ones that like the actual console but if one was close somebody probably would have noticed it but because they were far off no one did now this is why people they're they're it's pretty much a, a classic case of communist mccarthy paranoia they're trying to see into every little detail just to see if in the future they were right just so they can go back and say see 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 i was right now those people I only got one thing to say. Do to my weed what you did to yours so I can smoke it and be as fucked up as you because I want to be that fucked up. Now, the new slash rant slash my opinion is over. Um, on my last video, I think it was the Bethesda buyout or because I uploaded three or four videos yesterday. I can't remember which one it was. But one of my subscribers, he said that <clears throat> Xbox finally has a studio in Japan. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Apparently, Tango Gameworks is a Japanese developer. They are property of Xbox now that they bought Bethesda. I didn't know this. The reason I didn't know this is because I didn't play The Evil Within, which is the game that they made. So, what does this mean? Officially, it means Microsoft now has a studio in Japan, which is, in it by itself, a win for Microsoft because they wanted a studio in Japan. But, and this is the reason why I mentioned the Sega thing, they can finally have games in Japan. Kinda. Tango Gameworks isn't as revered, as renowned, as loved as Sega. Sega has fucking more than 20 years experience in the gaming world. Tango Gameworks was made in 2000. They have 10 years. Now that I think about it, I think Sega has almost 30. So... Does Xbox have a better chance of having games actually and systems being sold in Japan? Yes. By a lot? Who knows? It all depends on the games that Tango Gameworks decides to make. 
if they continue to make horror style games like Evil Within and Evil Within 2, even though I've never played any of them, I, I don't I don't even know if they were successful. Apparently, I'm guessing they were because there was a second one, but I I can't speak on that because I never played any of the games. So maybe if they're successful and in, in a new IP, maybe they could bring in some fans in Japan that are not Marines or Army members, soldiers, people deployed from the U.S. because that's mostly the people who buy Xboxes over there. One thing I do hope, though, is that if Microsoft does decide to buy another Japanese studio, I hope it's Mistwalker and or Whiteout. I think I said in a previous video that um, I want them to buy either one or both of those studios. I want them to buy both because White Owl made the Blue Dragon series. Or no. Um, yeah, I can't remember which ones did which. But basically, The Lost Odyssey. Um, I can't think of the words right now. The names. Blue Dragon. And uh, I forget the third one. There's three games that are made by actual Japanese developers on the 360. They didn't sell well because, again, 360, Western console, Japan, they rather stick to their own shit. So, yeah. But um, if they buy those studios, there could potentially be sequels to those games. And I, I, I want that. I, I fucking want that. But we're just going to have to wait. Maybe until next year. Because Microsoft still wants to buy studios. The CEO, I can't say his name. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. I've heard it being pronounced, but I can't remember. He said he wants to buy more studios. Or he wants Xbox to buy more studios. So, yeah, they're, they're fucking buying spree isn't over. Even after spending $7.5 billion to buy Bethesda. So, that makes me happy. But it also makes me worry. Because if they spend this much on a studio... I'm pretty sure they're going to spend more money on bigger studios. That means Miss Walker and White House probably will get looked over because they're not massive studios. But hey, that's just my take on it. What do you think? You think Microsoft is buying Sega? Personally, I don't think so. At least not now. Maybe in the future. Maybe they might get bought out by um, Sony or fucking Nintendo, their biggest rival in the 90s. So, yeah. I'll be on. With all that being said, I hope you fuckers like, comment, and sub. And uh, yeah, I will see you fuckers probably in the morning if I continue, if I decide to make a continuation. So, see you fuckers later.